Welcome to part two of Intro to Style Guide Driven Development. In this lesson, I'll talk about living style guides versus traditional style guides. Style guides are widely used in graphic design to communicate the do's and the don'ts when designing for a particular brand. This helps maintain cohesiveness across the design, ensuring that new designs that are created have the same look and feel as part of the brand. Information such as logo use, typography, colors, type of imagery, and even voice and tone are included in style guides. This documentation is not only super valuable for designers, as it gives them the ingredients for producing their designs, but also valuable to the product owners as they have a medium for communicating to designers and content producers how their brand should be portrayed. It's a no-brainer that web designers started using style guides to also document design guidelines, in this case for websites and web applications. Now just because a style guide is for a front-end application doesn't mean it's a living style guide. What makes a style guide living is that the source code is connected to it, so the styles included in the living style guide are not a representation of the app, but the actual styles used in the app. Mind-blowing, right? Joking aside, it is sort of mind-blowing when you think about how many static style guides have been produced, and are probably still being produced, that are updated as soon as they're published. Believe me, I've been there creating spec docs for design, including down-to-the-pixel information that designers should follow to the T. I would do this to ensure that the design would be implemented as desired. And then as soon as I would hand off those specs, they were already outdated and conflicted with something else that was just implemented as another part of the project that I didn't even know existed. <sighs> but there's a better way, and it's to use a living style guide. You get it now, right? It's a living style guide because it's a living document. Voila. Now you're probably wondering, what's the magic? How can I make a dead style guide come to life? The answer to that is, automate the creation of your style guide by using a style guide generator. A style guide generator is a tool that scans for special comments in your code and then generates a site with this information. It also uses the source code of your application so you can add demos of your UI as part of your documentation. There are a wide variety of style guide generating tools out there that you can choose from depending on your project. At Batovi, we use Document CSS because aside from it being an awesome tool, <coughs> we also authored it. Disclaimer aside, Document CSS is open source and will work for any project. So now you know the difference between a living style guide and a traditional style guide, and that you can use tools to automate the process for creating your style guide. Up next, you can learn why you should use the style guide driven development approach. <laughs>